Hi, in this video, let's discuss about using NPM in Visual Studio 2015 to manage client-side packages or dependencies. I am Rajesh Gunasundram, founder and editor of ProgrammerGuide.net. What is NPM? NPM is the Node Package Manager. NPM is the default package manager for the JavaScript runtime environment Node.js. Using NPM, we can manage client-side packages or dependencies in Visual Studio 2015 as recommended by NPM in Visual Studio 2015. Visual Studio 2015 ships with its own version of several external tools such as Grunt, Gulp, Bower, Node and NPM. We can use NPM to manage all the client-side dependencies in our applications. Let's get on to the demo. This demo creates an empty ASP.NET web application using Visual Studio 2015. It will install some of the client-side dependencies for the application such as AngularJS, jQuery, Bootstrap and etc. using NPM. Let's jump to the demo. I'm going to create a new project. I'm naming the project as npm demo. I select empty ASP.NET file templates. Okay. Let's wait for some more time for the references to get restored. Okay. We have global.json file, project.json file, startup.cs file, and project underscore readme.html file. And inside www root, we have the webconfig file. And there is a node called dependencies. And we have a references node. Under the references node, we have DNX 4.5.1 and DNX code 5.0. As we discussed in our slides, we are going to use NPM to manage client-side packages or dependencies for this application. Let me add an NPM configuration file to the project. I'm selecting the client-side, install the templates. In the middle pane, I'm selecting the npm configuration file and I'm leaving the name as package.json by default. I'm clicking add. So a file named package.json has been added to our project. So here we have a item called dev dependencies. This is where we need to provide details for our client side packages required. Let me add Angular. You can notice the Visual Studio Intelligence is loading the required packages. It's communicating with the NPM server and it's loading the required packages as according to the text that I'm typing. So it loaded angular. So let me try to load an angular 2 for example. Angular 2 it's still in beta but however let me try it. So it listed angular 2 packages as well. I'm selecting angular 2 and it's loading the latest available packages. See this is the stable beta version. This is the latest released beta version. So if you want to use this version, you can select this. Selecting the second option will enable the Visual Studio to load the latest major version that is matching. For example, if they release 2.0.1 or 2.1.0, it will load that package into the project. And if you select the third option, Visual Studio will try to match the minor version. For example, it will leave the 2.0 and if 
they release 2.0.1 then it will match that particular version and it will load those packages into our project so i'll select the exact version that i, I need for this application i'm selecting 2.0.0 it's beta 8 that has got released recently next let me add jquery so i'm selecting jquery and i'm selecting the latest uh, stable version 2.2.1 then let me add bootstrap stable version is 3.3.6 and I'm selecting that now I'm saving the package.json file the moment I save the package.json file Visual Studio will start loading the dependencies you can notice this there is some processes happening at the background you can also notice the npm logo which is appearing in a transparent mode whenever you open this package.json file See the dependencies node is restoring. This actually communicates with the npm server and trying to fetch all the dependencies that has been mentioned in package.json. Yes, the dependencies has got fully restored. Let me expand the dependencies node. You can see an npm folder because this dependencies is managed by npm I'm expanding this npm folder and notice this all the required packages or dependencies that has been mentioned in the package.json has been loaded we have angular 2 we have bootstrap we have jquery apart from this angular 2 bootstrap and jquery you could, you could also notice there are some more uh, packages has been loaded into this npm folder why is it so? When npm fetched angular2 package, it also noticed that there are some more uh, packages that needs to be loaded as part of angular2 because this angular2 has some dependencies on those packages. That's the reason it has also loaded some other packages which we have not mentioned under the package.json file. Okay, we have seen all the referred uh, packages that has got loaded into our npm folder. Okay, so where this uh, physical file of these packages loaded into our project exist? Let me select the show all files option. Notice there is a node underscore modules hidden folder. If you expand that, under node underscore modules, you can see all the files that are related to the packages that has been loaded by npm for this project. Now you understood how to manage the packages using npm in our project. So in order to use this packages, we have to add the references, script references or CSS references into our index.html file. In order to do so, we have to move the required JS file or CSS file or images file whatever into our public folder that will be accessed publicly called www root folder i mean so to move the required files from the dependencies into a www root folder we need to use any task runner such as grunt or gulp we will discuss about that in the next video we have completed our demo if you like our video Kindly subscribe to the Programmer Guide Net YouTube channel. You can like us from Facebook or you can follow in Twitter. When you get some time, you can also visit our programmerguide.net website and learn a lot of things from there. Thanks for watching. Happy coding. This is Rajesh Gunasundram signing off from official YouTube video channel of programmerguide.net.